is Remembrance Sunday. It's a day when we remember that guns once fell silent and we remember the past and we look to the future. We remember those who have fallen and all that was lost. We know that God holds us and keeps us and moves us onwards and forwards. So let's start by singing, All My Hope in God is Founded. Our Remembrance Day reading is from John's Gospel, chapter 13, reading from verse 30. Judas accepted the bread and went out at once. It was night. The New Commandment After Judas had left, Jesus said, Now the Son of Man's glory is revealed. Now God's glory is revealed through him. And if God's glory is revealed through him, then God will reveal the glory of the Son of Man in himself, and he will do so at once. My children, I shall not be with you very much longer. You will look for me, but I tell you now what I told the Jewish authorities. You cannot go where I am going. And now I give you a new commandment. Love one another. As I have loved you, so you must love one another. If you have love for one another, then everyone will know that you are my disciples. So let's join together and sing those words in the lovely little song, A New Commandment. A New Commandment Thank you. 
youngsters who might be watching at home today is remembrance sunday and you'll notice a lot of people have poppies on maybe you have a poppy on today and it's a day when we remember all of the people who gave their lives in the war to keep us safe so that we can live in freedom we can live the lives that we lead now i know at the moment we might be moaning because of covid19 but, you know, the war times were awful, awful times for people to live through. And many people lost their lives. And so today we want to say thanks to God for them and to acknowledge that their lives weren't wasted. Our country is what it is today because of the people who had gone before. We also remember that we still have soldiers today, men and women, and they might be here serving in our country or they might be abroad serving in other countries. And we ask that God continues to keep them safe because they have volunteered to do a very, very difficult job. They have chosen a very, very difficult career. Sometimes they might be keeping the peace in other countries and that can be hard when we're not even sure what it is that brought about war in the first place. And that's the thing, you see, because God gave us a way. And it's when we ignore God's ways and try to live just the way that we understand or the way that we want to live that trouble starts we all know what it's like if we fall out with someone. Maybe we fall out with our parents or a brother or sister. Maybe worse, we fall out with a friend, someone who used to be a good friend, and it's horrible. And then if we can't bring ourselves to say sorry, or if we blame them all the time, then we never become friends again. And that's really not God's way. God says we've got to be big enough. We've got to let him touch us with his love so that we live in a world that's full of love instead. And then that way we can think about not just things that we've done, but hurts that we feel from other people. And we can learn to forgive. We need God's help with that. We're not good at doing it on our own. And then when we think back on hurts, we realise that we can let them slip away and instead we can actually ask God to hold the person who hurt us and wish them all the best. Sometimes we say we've got to let all of the hurts go so that we can get on with living in the present and not always be trapped by horrible things that people have said or something that maybe somebody's done in the past. We need to move into the future. I guess there was a little song that said, let it go. Remember in the film Frozen, one of my favourite films. But in actual fact, that's not what the song was about. The song in Frozen is because the princess has a great power. It's a power that she wants to be able to, to use but seems to hurt other people when she does. So she wants to 
get away to where she can live and let her power grow and flow. Now, today, I want you to remember something. God gave you and me and all of us a great power. It's a power called love. Now, sometimes we think, oh, that's all soppy. I'm not talking about that. God's love brings real power. And when we let it go, God's love, when we let it go and we let it flow in our world, it can be changing the whole world, not just our lives, but everybody's life. It's a power that he gave because that's how he wants the world to be. We need to learn to let it go, to let God's love go in our world. We need to learn to let it flow. And we also need to learn all, to let all of the hurts and all of the things that we've maybe said that's hurtful in the past, to let them all go, let them disappear and allow God's love to take its place. Then, then we have a better world. Then we can make sure that soldiers of the day wouldn't even be needed anymore because God's love would be known and shown everywhere and we would be looking out for one another instead of looking out just in case somebody else comes to hurt us. So today we've got a way where we can live in peace, where we can be happy. We just need to choose God's way. So let's remind ourselves as we sing that little song, I could be happy and you could be happy because that's the way it should be. I could be happy and you could be happy and that's the way it should be. I could be happy and you could be happy and that's the way it should be. Because God loves you and I love you and that's the way it should be. God loves you and I love you and that's the way it should be. I could be very sad. You could be very On this day of memory, we gather to sing together and to pray together wherever we may be. We can remember the past and we can look to the future. On this day that we remember the day of guns falling silent, we can come to God seeking his peace. We can come to God on this day with hope having faced terror. We can come to God and pray with all our hearts for help in the ages past, but also for the years to come that are filled with hope. We can ask God to open our eyes and the eyes of the nations to find a different path through the disagreements of life in this world. A path where God's love can be known, can be shown and can be sown into the lives of others and the youngsters who are born today. We can be recommitted to being people of peace and that's true peace. Where we look out from one to another and maybe with God's help 
we can catch a vision of how the world could live together. We can echo those old prayers of the past. Make us a channel of your peace and let there be peace on earth. Let it begin with us. With God's strength, we can make that difference. With God's love, we can know a new world. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Amen. So now may the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be with you evermore. Amen.